archaeology also spelled archaeology the scientific study of the material remains of past human life and activities these include human artifacts from the very earliest stone tools to the man made objects that are buried or thrown away in the present day everything made by human being from simple tools to complex machine from the earliest houses and templates and tombs to places cathedrals and pyramids archaeological investigations are a principal source of knowledge of prehistoric ancient and extant culture the word comes from the greek archaea which means ancient things and logos which mean the theory or science fast facts two main summary facts and related content parcha kemek pero see all media key people hinrich sechelman sir flinders petri john winkelman zahi havas richard likhe related topics dating excavation illicit antiquities egyptology archaeology survey the archaeologist is a first and descriptive worker he has to describe classify and analyze the artifacts he studies an adequate and objective taxonomy is the basis of all archaeological and many good archaeologists spend their lives in this activity and description and classification but the main aim of the archaeologist is to place the material remains in historical context to supplement what may be known from written sources and thus to increase understanding of the past ultimately then the archaeologist is a historian his aim is to interpretive description of the past of man the caves of khumran on the northwest shore of the dead sea in the west bank the site of the caves where the dead sea scroll were first discovered in 1947 britannica quiz more archaeological discoveries quiz what is the earliest known urban culture of the indian subcontinent the name of which archaeological site is deputed to man the mount of the dead test your knowledge take the quiz increasingly many scientific techniques that are used by the archaeologist and the uses the scientific expertise of many persons who are not archaeologist in his work the artifacts he studied must often be studied in the environmental context and botanist zoologist soil scientist and geologist may be brought into the identify and describe plants animals soils and rocks radioactive carbon dating which has revolutionized much of archaeological chronology is the byproduct of research in atomic physics but although archaeology uses extensively the method techniques and results of physical and biological science it is not a natural science some consider it a discipline that is half science and half humanity perhaps it is more accurate to say that the archaeologist is a first craft the justification for this work is a justification of all historical scholarship to enrich the present by knowledge of the experiences and achievements of our predecessor because it concerns thing people have made the most direct findings of archaeology bears on the history of art and technology but by inference it also yield information about the society religion and the economy of the people who created the artifacts also it may bring to light and interpret previously unknown written documents providing even more certain evidence about past get a britannica premium subscription and gain access to exclusive content subscribe now but no one archaeologist can cover the whole range of human history and there are many branches of archaeology divided by geographical areas such as classical archaeology the archaeology of ancient greece the rome or egyptology and archaeology of ancient egypt 
or by periods such as medieval archaeology and industrial archaeology written being 5000 years ago in mesopotamia and egypt its beginning were somewhat later in india and china and later still in europe the aspect of archaeology that deals with the past of man before he learned to write has since the middle of 19th century been referred as a prehistoric archaeology or prehistory in prehistory the archaeology is paramount for here the only source and material and environmental the scope of this article is to describe briefly how archaeology came into existence as a learned discipline how the archaeologist work in the field museum laboratory and study and how he access and interpret his evidence and transmute it into history